Welcome back. It's weekly classes, quarter three, week two, today's day two plus. Today we're going to start the modeling process, okay? So it'll be the whole process of modeling. Today we're actually going to make the hot pants. Hot pants! I made them blue because they look like cut off jeans. Yeah. Anyway, today we are going to work on just the hips. We're going to start with the hips because that's the central part where our character will move from. Um, it's also a really important part and a difficult part because we need the, the as we move our legs around, there's a lot of motion there and a lot of uh, distortion on the geometry. So we need to make sure that we have those, uh, that have the geometry and the mesh sort of evenly spaced so that our vertices are, are in good position as well as we have enough detail around the crotch so when you spread your legs out or if you, you take a step it's going to stretch out and deform properly. Uh, one of the things we'll start with is a 12-sided cylinder and then we're going to add two extra loops right through here. We're going to build this uh, inner crotch area right through there and then we're going to delete and add the leg section separately. Um, and then we're going to really try and think about this as, as how how your leg moves. So in this case, when your leg, most of your leg motion is forward. You can actually very, you can only bend your leg backwards a very, very small amount. Um, usually when people do like a front split, their, their hips are actually doing most of the work and it's their front leg is being bent almost up, uh, up much, much more than their back leg is moving back. So it's one of those things where you have to sort of see it. Anyway, um, so we're going to build this in a way that we have a lot of geometry high through here. It almost looks like underwear, right? And how it's got a, a large section through here, but then on the back, it's much more rounded. So this is more of a V or maybe even an M, and this is much more of sort of a, a U, all right? So that's the general idea, but we'll go through the whole process. Once again, you're working with your own model, um, so you're going to be having, you'll have your own individual issues that you'll be running into, but just the, it, it, you could probably fast forward through this video a bit and look at just the parts that you feel like you need help with, okay? So don't feel like you have to watch this front to back. You could maybe start it. Um, I really suggest you start with the same shapes that I start with, but then obviously your body shape or whatever body shape you're using is going to be significantly different than mine, and that will be reflected in the, in the work. All right, so first things first, I do suggest you start here. In the top view, I'm going to create a cylinder, okay? Uh, a cylinder is going to be really helpful, and I'm going to use a... 12 sided cylinder okay uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave the height segments one and the cap segments as one and I'm going to turn snapping on just for now uh, so that I build it in a logical place like the center and I'm just going to build it out and then press up so it's going to be uh, coming up from the top <clears throat> so now from the front view you'll see my cylinder is far too large I should be able to hit M for material and drag my modeling material onto there close that so I can see what I'm doing now uh, this is a decent start I'm gonna hit W uh, the W is going to move up here and then I'm going to do a lot of scaling at the beginning okay so hit R and I want to make sure I'm local scaling because we're going to be rotating this around we want to make sure that our our scaling makes sense okay so make sure you're up here in local scaling and we are going to want to make sure that we're doing it um, in non-uniform scale because I don't want it to all scale the same. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze that down like that. Now I'm actually going to use this to bring it in. Now, from the left view, I'm going to all bring it in again. And then I'm going to use the belt line as my starting point. So I hit W, uh, move it up, and then I'm going to hit E for rotate um, and rotate it so that it's roughly there. I've got angle snap on for rotation, uh, and that's fine for now. Um, if I hit R, I'm back into scaling once again. I'm happy that it's local. I want to make sure it stays local. I'm trying to basically get this section uh, to approximately the same size as the waist of our character. Okay, now from the front, we should be still on the zero axis, uh, on our x-axis. If not, go ahead and line that up just in case we screwed it up. 
So I did. I screwed it up somehow. I don't know how, but I did. Um, but now it seems to be in the right spot. Okay, this is good. Now, uh, let's see. From the left again, I'm going to shrink this by hitting R. Shrink it. Uh, and hit W. Move it up some. And that's probably a good start. At this point, I've got... Uh, it needs to come in. I'm trying to make it so it's right about the same line as the belt. Now I'm going to focus on this side over here, my uh, my left side. From the front, it'll be this side over here. On, so let's make sure. So I'm going to convert this to an editable poly by right-clicking, going down to Convert to, and then Editable Poly. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and I'm going to grab the actual polys themselves and hit Front. There's our bell, of course. So from the front, if I hit left, you can sort of see that's on that side. Um, left. Okay, good. So, uh, okay, so next I'm going to hit 2, the number 2, uh, and get my edges. I'm going to double click on the edge here, and it's not letting me have it. I'm going to go ahead and do this, select, and then deselect. Um, once again, I want to make sure that I'm on local so that I can sort of rescale this appropriately. Now, um, you're going to jump back and forth when it comes to these edges and uh, your vertex sections between local and world. I like world sometimes because that allows me to grab all of these vertices and then sort of smooth them out in a way that makes sense. Um, I want this to be a gradual process where the, the lines radiate sort of this way from the front of our character to the back. Um, eventually sort of straightening out so that we can get to the leg and the knee and have the edges be moving perfectly horizontally. So anyway, moving on. Hit W. I want to move this up here kind of like that. There. From the front, uh, I'm going to scale it out a bit. Just like that. I'm focused more on this side than this side. This This is Great if it lines up, but I'm mostly concerned about that. This is my primary focus. All right, great. So that's roughly where we want it to be. We can actually hit W, grab some of these, and maybe even pull them down a little bit. Uh, maybe that one kind of come down a little more. A little more. Okay, cool. These little touches are going to make a big difference um, in the end product because it's going to look a little more organic and less, uh, less sort of robotic, if you will. I can come up there. Now, I'm not concerned at all about the top. Now, this is a huge end gun, and that's kind of a problem, but we're actually not too worried about it right now because we're going to work, uh, work just with the hips for now. Okay, once again, I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to use faces. I'm going to grab all the bottom face there and deselect all of those. So I should have, great, perfect. Now I can extrude. I'm going to extrude by group. So make sure it's extruding by group. And then it doesn't really matter how far we do it right now because we're just going to keep sort of adjusting it out. Once again, I'm going to hit the number one, grab all of these verts, and then I'm going to sort of flatten them out. So I'm starting to get that sort of radiation of geometry so it's sort of larger chunks in the back than in the front. Hit W to move it forward a little bit more. Move that forward here. Move this back a little bit. And maybe both of these back a little bit. Now notice I'm using marquee select a lot. That way um, I'm getting the front and the back. Okay? Great. So once again, I'm going to grab this. I think I already had it, but just to be safe from grabbing this again, I'll extrude it again. Okay. And I'm not quite sure why it keeps going forward like that, but it doesn't really matter. That's going to be fine. Like that. Mostly looking at the back there. Hit the number one. Grab these. Move them back. Grab that. Move forward just a little bit this back a little bit. Wonderful bell. 
Okay, cool. What we're also trying to do is sort of make sure that the geometry stays evenly spaced. Now, you may think, well, these are a lot closer together. You're right, but you're not right, because in the front, we want to make sure that all of the geometry is roughly evenly spaced. So from the side, these look like they're closer together, but from the front, um, once again, they're about evenly spaced. <clears throat> the more evenly spaced our geometry is, the better, uh, the, the happier we're going to be. All right. So I'd say maybe extrude two more times, eh, maybe one. Let's see. I think I got it. I do. Left. Extrude. And that's good enough. And then we'll move it down again. Once again, I'm going to try and get roughly the center and then uh, pull it in a bit. <clears throat> good, 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 good. Front. All right. I've been neglecting my side views. Uh, that is unfortunate. We'll have to fix that. There we go. Got to make sure we move the hips out so it looks better. So now what I've got to do is I'm moving, making sure this is set up properly. Have our setup here. We're looking at it from the front, making sure that we're staying consistent um, with our spacing. All right. So that's going to come back out a bit. And that's basically going to stay the same. Uh, we can also, from the left view, we don't have to go quite so straight immediately. We could keep this. It'd probably look a little better if this was turned. I need to turn angle snap off. Uh, that's going to be better. We can move that down a little bit. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool, cool. So now from the front, we need to start thinking about how are we're going to make sort of the crotch area. <clears throat> now the best way to do that is to actually add a second edge along the center portion. So I'm going to go into the edge section, grab both of these, which will give us this entire section, and I'm going to insert loops. Okay, cool. Now, uh, that would have been cool, although instead of doing that, I'm going to undo that first because I really would like to keep my center line. So first thing I'm going to do is grab these first bottom two in the center from the front, grab these, and then we're going to connect them. That way we have an edge They run straight along the center. Okay, that will help us in just a minute. So from the front, again, I'm going to do what I said before. Hit two, uh, marquee select these two edges. Don't marquee select a big square because then you'll get this middle line and we don't want that. Just make sure we get these two rings and then we are going to insert a loop. So loops, insert loop, boom. Now what that's going to do is it's going to give us extra geometry that we're going to be able to use to sort of bring in uh, for like this intersection. Like I said before, um, for now we're just going to sort of make it uh, fit by hitting the number one. I'm going to change this to hips while I'm thinking about it. Hips. Alright, uh, I'm going to start bringing this whole portion in. All right, uh, bring it in a little bit here, and then bring this in a significant amount there. And I'm going to hit W, grab these, and bring them down. Okay, grab these, bring them down, and the center section, bring it down. Now I'm working with both sides for now, uh, and that's kind of what I want to do at first. Um, <clears throat> we're going to need to add more geometry and make this thing a little better. But initially, we're trying to make sort of like the underwear looking uh, setup here. Bring these down a little bit, as well as that one. Like that. Because, and now I'm actually going to start selecting individual vertices uh, and moving them up some more. And this individual vert, moving it up some more. Because what I'm trying to do is create sort of like, in a lot of ways, it's a lot of, it's kind of like tiny whiteies. Okay? I'm trying to create uh, a space here that I'm going to be able to connect legs to. Because we're actually going to create the legs separately and attach them. So that's going to be my crotch area. This section, both of these. Uh, sections need to come in. And pretty soon I'm going to stop worrying about the right side altogether. 
But for now, just sort of so I can keep things uh, so they make sense visually, I'm going to stick with it. Now you'll notice I'm using my scale tools a lot here, and I'm moving both sides at the same time, right, which makes a lot of sense. Grab that, move it down some. Right. So once again, I'm sort of doing the whole tidy whitey thing here. I'm looking to get leg holes that we'll be able to work with. But I still want this to sort of come around the butt some. Right? Cool. Front. And we'll have more space back here to adjust things. Spread that out a little bit. So it kind of looks like an old, like, G.I. Joe action figure in some ways. Left. Um, once again, we're trying to keep things smooth. So we're going to start looking at how the geometry is deforming. And then using that to sort of inform how our, our, our body here is put together. Move that down. Move that down that down like that. There. That kind of makes more sense. We want to keep it relatively smooth and even I hate it when it does that. Evenly spaced geometry. And now by starting with um, by starting with the uh, cylinder it makes makes this a lot easier than it would otherwise be all right great <clears throat> so we know that we're going to split this as well so this is our our thigh portion right here so we can actually get that get rid of that so I'm going to select the, our two leg sections they should be mirrored pretty evenly uh, I'm going to delete those now from the front also I can actually just sort of work with one side for now. Alright, delete that. I can delete that and delete that and delete that. Okay, now I can, if I want to, and it's probably not a bad idea to sort of look at this from the front and start thinking about how it's going to sort of come together. Uh, we know that we want our leg to have at least two edges on the inside here, probably three. So I'm going to hit the number two grab this and then insert an uh, go to edges or I'm sorry insert loops grab that and then I'm going to grab those two separately again loops insert loop so now I've got three pieces of geometry here to work with so that way it'll be much much smoother and rounder and I can work with that <coughs> um, so that'll be a good start also uh, we have this top section here we need to fix so I'm going to bridge so hit the number two Make sure we're grabbing edges. I'm going to bridge from here to there. That should be enough. If I hit the number one, I can double check to make sure everything is kosher. So that right there is one vert. That's one vert. One vert. Good. Good, good. From the front. So that's good to go. All right. So now the number one. So we're making sure we're dealing with this. Now, from the left side, we're, we're, we know that this needs to be uh, a gradual transition. So I'll move these down. From the left, I want the inner edge to be down a little bit. Okay? That way, from the front, we've got like the, a crease where the seam of the uh, pants comes together. So from the front, we've got this inner edge that's coming down. That's good. Now, we have sort of like an odd situation here, the way the leg is placed. These are all going to have to be much more circular. This in particular needs to come in. This front vert also will need to be adjusted some, like that whole thing here should probably come in some. There we go. Left. Alright. That looks bad. Go 
comes in. Front. Alright. Good. Good, good. Once again, I'm constantly moving this thing around so I can see from multiple angles how it's going to look. Left. Now our leg, our pant leg, is actually going to make up some of this, uh, some of the gap here. So we don't have to worry too much about how this, if it follows the rest of the geometry perfectly, because we, like I said, we will have a pant leg that makes up some of this for us. Alright, good. There and there. Alright, great. And we'll probably adjust all this in a second. Alright, cool. So let's get that in a little bit more. There. So now what we need to do is figure out how many edges do we have here. Right? And that's the next section. So let's count okay number two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have ten edges so that means I need to make a leg which is a cylinder with ten edges so cylinder sides ten All right doesn't really matter I'm snapping though just to be safe snap that like that and press up from the front I'm going to grab my modeling material and drag it on. Hit W. Turn snapping off. And come up here and resize it. Once again, I'm mostly concerned that I'm getting the right shape right at the bottom here. And hit convert it to an editable poly. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Now, I'm going to select this, my hips. I'm going to attach my leg. So now they're the same thing, so I can work on one at a time. Hit 1 to work with the geometry that I was talking about. Hit W. Now, I'm going to use this as sort of my, my front center section. I'm also going to move these in a little bit because I've got a, a little bit of, a little too much difference between these sections. Remember how I was talking about trying to make sure that the geometry stays somewhat equal, even? Good. So now you can see where this is already going to line up. From the front, I'm going to grab this and resize it. I like to resize this first because when we actually attach this, we're going to want to make sure that uh, it attaches pretty evenly along all the edges. So that's good. So far so good. We've got a side, we've got a side here, front, okay. So now I'm actually going to go into target welding. I'm going to target weld from my top of my hip to um, the top of my thigh to my hip. Oh, it won't target weld because I've got a face. I need to delete, that's why. I did that in the pre-show too. All right, target weld, here we go. From there to there. Boom. Once again, you don't necessarily have to watch all of this video. You just want to see the main steps, like this one. How we have the leg set, and it's circular in nature, and we're attaching the leg to the thigh. And that's going to sort of even out our geometry and give us our, our, our sort of starting point. We're still going to have a lot of work to do, a lot of uh, adjustments and such to make. And we're going to want to make sure that it's sort of set up properly. But generally, that's a good start. All right. So from here, I'm going to probably want to move some of, these, some of this geometry around a little bit. Move both of these over some. Move this over a little bit. This one and this one. Come over some. Got a weird hip point sticking out here. From the front, I really want to get this sort of thigh 
motion, especially in the front, especially in the front. We really want that sort of like bikini look to it, if you will, because the way your thigh moves and the where it creases is very, very, very important. Um, I play a game called Heroes of the Storm, and there's a character on there called Kerrigan, and her thighs look really, really good the way they deform. They deform almost perfectly. Looks very natural. So we're hoping to do something along those lines. Alright, so from the front. Alright. Now, for this section down here, this crotch is, is sort of like oddly angled. I like to grab those three edges, which are just these three on the inside. Uh, look at them from the left and sort of figure out how they should actually move. Like this pole section should probably come down some. Uh, these two could also probably come down. And then from the front, I'm going to grab all of this geometry here. And I'm going to go to geometry relax. And that sort of just relaxes the whole process. Um, you can just make sure you don't relax too much on the edges because then it can get really problematic very quickly. I'm going to do some relaxing there. Relax. Now your relax settings may be slightly different than mine. And at the end of the day, what matters is that it's going to look okay. I'll probably bring this in out and some more like that. And these down some more like that. This I'm going to also sort of relax some. Maybe this as well. There. Here's where we'll start, like, trying to get more along the, how this is going to look, front, there, this can move in, all right, I'm working with the back birds here, trying to sort of get it once again, to the point where they're looking okay. I'll grab those and this. Left. Pull the whole thing forward some. This section needs to come out. We can grab large sections and move it out. Oh, be very, very careful. At some point, I got adjusted up here, which can happen to you as well. Just be very careful on that because it can cause real problems probably how things got so messed up to begin with. But it's okay. It's part of the process, learning how to sort of recover from your mistakes. All right. So that's basically it. From the front view, I've got my hips set up properly. I've got sort of the back underwear look to it. We need some more geometry in the actual leg itself. We'll add that real quick because it's not going to be that hard to fix. So we're going to bring that out some, you can s like that, from the front, make sure it's looking okay. Now hit two, grab that edge, and insert a loop, there you go. Once again, we're going to let that sort of choose the, di the layout so that it's smooth. That's basically where you should be. Now from here, to just make sure that everything's good. I'm going to uh, grab this object and then mirror it, making a copy. And then I hit the number one, and then I'm going to grab all of this first line here. And then I'm going to weld them. Actually, I don't think they're. They are one object. No, they're not. I'm going to. They're not one object. Did I attach already? I don't know. With all the kerfuffle of everybody leaving the class, 
I got all confused. I'm going to make sure that I weld these together. So I've got 13. So it's not actually working. So I need to uh, attach the two uh, sides. So attach here. Okay, so they're both attached. So now all I have to do is grab this section here and weld it together. I should have 26, which means when I'm done, I should have 13, which it does. All right, so from there I can add a different material, one that we can actually see. And we should have a general layout of how this looks. Now, as I said before, it's not 100% perfect. We definitely need some work. We gotta grab this section here and move it out some. It's kind of a flat butt right now. Grab, grab these two, move them out some. From the left view, grab that and do some relaxing and then move it out. Challenge relax and move it out there. All right, cool. So that's basically it. We have that set up, and uh, we're good to go. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.